My friend and I are co-presenters for a workshop in Chicago. It's next month, July. As part of my presentation, I will be showing this video, but it can be used by anyone, so I thought I'd share it with anyone on the internet. You don't need a scanner. I recommend a DSLR camera and uh, Adobe Lightroom, but any camera and any software that can do uh, white balance adjustments will work. So enjoy it. Here is a short overview uh, how to uh, capture all your photos that you have done in the past before there were digital cameras. Okay, you take a clipboard, you put a little post-it notepad on there, so you something to put your photo on, to prop it up. Put against your monitor with a little duct tape on the edge so it doesn't scratch it. Grab a photo, place it, put it in place. Aim your shot, frame it so nice square corners, and you take the picture. And then you just do the next one, and the next one, and the next one. I have done uh, a couple hundred in a really short time, and this is works for documents, not just photos. If you get a real glossy photo, then you might want to uh, adjust the board, either bring it down some or raise it up some. Uh, you don't want to use any flash on a camera because that, that creates a glare. I recommend using a product from Adobe called Lightroom. As a professional photographer, you, I couldn't live without it. You can copy from settings from one photo to a hundred more with just a couple clicks of a button. And then you export it and save it to any folder. I chose the photo, one photo that I want. I grabbed this medicine dropper and just click on a white spot like the paper on the clipboard and click on it and that's all there is to it you got a fantastic photo color perfect it takes matches the white and everything else falls in place here's the before and the after you can copy it just uh, select copy and then Uncheck everything except the white balance and then close the box. Now you highlight the first one and then you shift, hold the shift key and highlight the last one just like uh, f when you're selecting files in a hard drive. And then you go to uh, the menu and you copy it to the rest of them. And that's all there's to it. There's the before and the after. It makes a big difference in the color. You can also do this in PaintShop Pro. It just takes a few more steps. Here you choose the menu. Adjust the white point. You can click on the white. Find the white spot. And click the white color. You can click on the black. His pants happen to be black. So click on them and then you can have them click on a gray he happens to have a gray tie there it takes three different clicks the newer version might have improved but that's all there is to it